Coming up on Look Today, well, Warren County will implement the use of drones for emergency services. I've got details. And South High Marathon Dance might become a not-for-profit entity. More on that coming up. Plus, the city of Saratoga Springs prepares for the growing trend of maker spaces. I'm going to explain what that means. It's all ahead on Look Today. Welcome everyone, I'm Jay Hood Jackson and this is Look Today. Well, in tonight's program, I sit down with Sarah Craig. She's Executive Director of Cafe Lena in Saratoga Springs. And she's here to talk about a great fundraiser called Invasion. And it's happening tomorrow, by the way. Plus, I also sit down with Patrick Nelson. He's a candidate for the 21st Congressional District seat. And he's here to talk about the controversial topic of gun control and his agenda and priorities in running for Congress. Plus, we have your weather for the Tri-North Counties. But first, these headline stories. Well, in our lead story, Warren County will implement the use of drones for their emer emergency services. Brian Lafleur, the county's director of emergency services, will become a licensed drone pilot. Now, the use of drones proved to be a tremendous help in a recent emergency on the Hudson River. And we spoke to Brian about this. Well, we have found that uh, there's a whole lot of different uh, things that the drones can be used for. Uh, a lot of people think they're a toy, but in the real world, in public safety, they can do a lot for us. We can put the drone in places where we don't want to put our own people as far as safety for the responders go. We can get into places. We can cover areas like the ice jams that we did recently, areas that we could never get to on foot or by ourselves, uh, sending the drone up. In a matter of minutes, you can get the information you need where otherwise it would take you days. Cool idea. All right, in other news, well, South Glens Falls High School is working to make its annual marathon dance a 501c3 not-for-profit. Now, the dance has raised more than $7 million in its 41-year history. That's amazing. Marathon dance organizers have wanted to take this step to turn it into a not-for-profit organization for a while, and they're hopeful the process will be completed by July. Well, we spoke to Jody Sheldon. She's an advisor for the marathon dance. We've started with the paperwork process of that, forming um, what we're, our bylaws are going to look like and our board of directors. Um, we're really hoping that it allows us to get more uh, local businesses that maybe can't donate because we're not a 501c3, so we're hoping for that. And also the second reason is to, to really just take that burden off of the school district. All right, switching from news to weather. Snow, snow, and more snow. We can expect anywhere from 6 to 12 inches, they're saying. Let's see how the week is shaping up. For a more detailed look at our weather, let's head to the Glens Falls Weather Center for a look at your first forecast. Thank you, Jesse. I'm meteorologist Clarence Ponster with your first look weather update here on Look TV. National forecast shows a few areas of high pressure across the Midwest and Southeast. Low pressure in a trough across the Great Lakes, but our big story is this low pressure system. Basically, another nor'easter impact in the coastal areas of New England. Now, it's going to provide not so much as high seas as it was during the previous storm, but it's producing interior portions of New England with plenty of snow. And we're seeing a lot of that here in the Capital District tonight as we see overnight lows in the mid to upper 20s. We're going to see about three to seven inches of snow during the overnight hours. So make sure you have a stay-at-home place so you can enjoy all that snowfall with that northeast wind at 10 or so miles per hour. Don't get out on those roadways if you don't have to. An additional 1 to 3 inches of snow on Thursday with mid-30s for highs. So between Wednesday night and Thursday daytime, we could see accumulations across the Capital District of 6 to 12 inches. Out the door, if you plan on going out there or want to enjoy the snowfall, accumulating snow with north winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour, generally in the lower 30s for your 8 a.m. hour. And we'll see more snow chances for Friday with highs upper 30s. So we're going to see some snow melt each day, generally speaking, because overnight lows are going to be below freezing by a good 5 to 10 degrees, generally mid-20s for lows, near 40 for highs with a 30% chance of snow on Saturday. 
We could go mo partial sunshine Sunday, maybe a slight chance of snow on Monday. That was your weather update here on First Look TV. First Look Weather for Look TV, I should say. I'm meteorologist Clarence Sponsor. Now I send you back to you, Jesse. Thanks very much, Clarence. You know, as I told you yesterday, it's very hard to track spring snowstorms because of the temperature. It hovers right around that 32 to 34 degrees. Looks like the first wave of it wasn't too bad, so keep your fingers crossed. All right, back to the news. Well, the presentation on makerspaces took place last night at Saratoga City Council meeting. Presentation was done by Nick Henning. He's a student from Skidmore College. Now, a makerspace is a collaborative workspace that encourages individuals to work together to create ideas, and concepts. Now we were at the meeting last night where Michelle Madigan, the finance commissioner, spoke on the growing trend of maker spaces. My primary goal was to sort of start to really educate us about these things because the trend is on an upward spiral. I do think there's the, they are starting to grow. If we get too many in this region and maybe we miss the opportunity to get involved with this um, because they're coming. There's more and more of them coming. Yeah, I encourage you. I had to look it up. I wasn't sure what they were. But uh, check it out. It's actually very interesting. It's something that we should focus on. All right, up next, I sit down with Sarah Craig. She's Executive Director, Cafe Lena in Saratoga. And she's here to talk about a very unique fundraiser called Invasion that's happening tomorrow. I also sit down with Patrick Nelson. He's a candidate for 21st Congressional District seat. He's here to talk about the controversial topic of gun control, his agenda, and priorities in running for Congress. But first, if you see news happening, you want to share a story idea. How about join us for an interview? Then give us a call on the hotline. The number is 798-8000. Well, that's all the time we have for this edition of Look Today. Uh, a couple of lookouts. First, we got a call from the uh, village of Lake George. There's a snow emergency in effect for the streets, the city streets there in the village. Um, 8 a.m. till noon tomorrow. Make sure you do not park on the streets because they will tow you. And when they call, they are serious. So be aware of that if you live in Lake George Village or you intend on visiting. Uh, also, another reminder about Cafe Lena. We uh, interview a lot of people, and the Invasion, which is their fundraiser, which is happening tomorrow night, is very unique. Uh, it's at the Union Gables Inn, which is right on Union Avenue in Saratoga. And it's set up, I think there's going to be like 18 different musical performances. Uh, go to their website, find out more about it, and it's a perfect night, it looks like, to uh, go out for a fundraiser like this, have some fun, and of course support this historic cafe. All right, I think that's it. Tonight on Saratoga, I'm sorry, we're in Saratoga. Tonight on Look TV, it's a Saratoga City Council meeting. That was easy to say. And don't forget, tune in tomorrow night for the stories that matter to you. Be safe, everybody. Watch the snow. I'm watching it out there right now. That's why. Good night, everyone.